Hey right, Jonathan, here's your 24 scale uh, Ford Crown Vic. Uh, this is a, oh, I'm gonna get it wrong, Franklin. Yep, Franklin County Sheriff's Department car from Ohio. Um, of course, the front doors open on this. The hood opens as well. There we go. So everything still opens like it should. Of course, the trunks on these do not open. Uh, the battery is located in the trunk area. You can remove these two rear screws and lift the body up, and you can be able to take the uh, uh, battery out right there. You don't even have to take the front screws out. Um, as for a uh, MDT or laptop, sorry, with this, uh, so I've got that in there. Uh, it came with it, actually. Uh, but I went and added the decals uh, for the keyboard and the display for that. Also an interior work light. Uh, this one did not have a shotgun mounted, so I went ahead and mounted a shotgun in there as well. I don't know if we can see it from this side, maybe. Get my little handy dandy flashlight. You can see the uh, light in there. And, or, I'm sorry, the uh, uh, shotgun mounted there. Also a little utility box that I sometimes put in some of these cars uh, for my customers. So one inside right there in the uh, floorboard by the console also added antennas to this. The antennas will come off in shipping uh, because the box is small uh, for these cars. Um, I say that. Actually, it may fit in this one. I can't remember. Uh, it's a different it's the square box. But anyway, I'll try it. If not, I'll put them in a bag. Uh, but I saw a couple of the pictures. I saw they had the uh, little puck style antenna. Uh, longer antenna in the center rear of the, or the center of the trunk. Uh, one over to the side fender of the trunk and then also a short one on top. Uh, so I went ahead and do that. Also added some reflective tape to the top of the light bar, uh, make it more realistic as well. As I mentioned, these antennas will come off. I'll leave the puck style antenna on there. Uh, but these other ones probably will come off because uh, they won't fit in the box. But just to give you an idea, I use goop glue, which I say in all my videos. It's like a rubber type adhesive. Uh, as you can see, it'll come right off when you pull the antenna. won't leave any kind of spots or anything on there at all. So it works really well. Uh, and as you can see, you can reposition it. Just pull a little bit of glue that stays on the antenna off, like so. And add a little, just a little bit to it again. And stick it back in place. Easy enough. Enough about the antennas. Uh, this one has two switches on the bottom. One for the lights. Another for the siren right here. Go ahead and turn the lights on. You ask for headlight strobes and red and blue grill strobes. You can see those there. And of course your headlight strobes as well. Cover these up. You see them a little bit better. Uh, these are wired to a circuit board so you get a couple patterns with these. You also have your um, side door or mirror strobes. See those? And you wanted a red and a blue on respective sides. So I have that for you. Also a red and blue strobe light bar. See that up on the roof. There's your interior work light. You can see it illuminating the uh, MDT. Or I keep saying MDT. That's what it is. But anyway, laptop. Uh, some of my customers are like, what's well, an MDT? I wanted a computer in there. So anyway, mobile data terminal if you're wondering. Um, red and blue strobes. Of course, you can see the light bar on the roof still. Uh, from the rear, uh, red and blue strobes on the rear deck. Cover those up. See those a little bit better here. I mounted those in the little pockets that the cars come with. Um, just hollowed those out a little bit. Added the red and blue strobe inside there, so they're beside the red uh, or third brake light back in the back, tucked away in there, so they don't stick up on the uh, rear deck. And then of course tail light strobes on this one. Again, hooked to the same circuit board as the head uh, heads and uh, grill lights are, uh, so you get three patterns of them as well. Hit the button for the siren. Same traditional siren. Get your different sounds with it. Press. Press again. Turns everything off. There you go, Jonathan. Hope it was worth the wait. Uh, again, these antennas are probably going to come off, so I will put them in a bag, a little Ziploc. They'll be stapled to the back of the box, uh, along with my business card. So if you have anything in the future you need, shoot me an email. Appreciate it, Jonathan. Thank you so much.